Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I love that joke. Hey everybody, it's my cat, and my name is Jeffrey St. George, and welcome to the mini-series Thinking Shakespeare by Barry Edelstein. Fabulous book, pick it up, read it. Today we're just going to dive straight on into chapter number three, which is entitled That Would Be Scammed. It's about Shakespearean scansion. So, what is scansion? Scansion is the study of where syllable stresses fall within the line. Usually we're talking about scansion in the terms of verse, although it can also be used in prose. Uh, when we're talking about Shakespearean verse, usually we're using the high school definition of iambic pentameter. So that title has two different parts. The beginning part is the description of the stress pattern, I am. In that case, it's unstressed, stressed. And then pentameter is a description of the meter. So penta meaning five, five sets of two equals 10, 10 syllables a line. Who knew it was going to be a math class? Not me. Uh, so uh, the purposes of today's video is to give us a uniform vocabulary. I say the high school definition of iambic pentameter because very frequently Shakespeare's verse is not in iambic pentameter. In fact, I find it to be very seldom in true iambic pentameter. Um, which brings us to the first point of this lesson, which is that it, don't stress too much about scansion. Don't worry about making things fit perfectly into iams. It's not going to do you any favors. Take what works for you and leave the rest behind. But to get back to the purpose of this video, we're just going to work on the similar vocabulary. We're going to describe the different kinds of stress patterns because we're going to be talking about it a lot in future videos. So the first one, I am. We've already gone over this. It's unstressed, stressed. The next one, and I'm just reading straight from the book because Barry says it best, uh, is a trochee. So a trochee is a two-beat stress pattern where the first uh, uh, syllable gets the stress. So uh, an example of that would be London or Boston. Syllable stress goes on the first syllable. The next example would be anapest. So an anapest is two unstressed followed by a stressed. An example of that would be the word Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, next up on the list is a dactyl. Now a dactyl is stressed, unstressed, unstressed. Example being Michigan, Michigan, right? And then an amphibrach. So unstressed, stressed, unstressed. An example, Chicago. Say it with me, Chicago. Very fun. And then we've got two more that are worth mentioning. Spondy, so a spondy is a stressed, stressed pattern. And then, of course, we've got Pyrrhic, which is unstressed, unstressed. Now, we're going to use these words a lot in the coming videos as we unpack the tension a little further. Thank you so much for joining me and Sarah today. And don't forget, go Shakespeare!